this is a set of Seymour Duncan Jupiters. Um, these are a pickup that I worked on with Duncan for about two and a half years. Uh, they are a ceramic mag uh, rail style pickup that a uh, little bit different, I guess, approach than most of a lot of like more modern hot pickups. Like the low end is considerably more rolled off on these than you would find in like something else in Duncan's range, like the Nazgul or any of those other popular ones. Great pickups, but this one. I find that like, if you can get the low end correct, um, in many cases from a pretty heavy string, like this is a 68 in front of the amp, then you're able to more effectively use like resonance controls on amps and stuff yeah. like that because you don't have like a big foggy mess. It tends to be in like that two, 300 range with the pickup, you know what I mean? Because I mean, most times, right? Like when you get a guitar or a seven string guitar, the manufacturer, I think, assumes that you're going to have like a 56 for a B string, you yeah. know what I mean? And you're probably going to be, you know, playing it in B standard. And I mean, here we are tuning down a minor third and stuff. So you got to have a heavier like string. Like G sharp? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. G sharp standard is what our main tuning is. Um, so it, it was kind of that choice, making sure that it would be something that would kind of hit the amp correct when you had... Um, bigger strings, you know it's, what I mean? It's one last question on, on this main ride. Uh, what can you maybe tell more to the audience about, I know that when you were with Seymour Duncan and probably exploring their pickups, you kind of landed on the Sentient and Pegasus for a while. Yeah. And how is that different or maybe a jumping off point to where you got with the with the Jupiters here? Um, so I guess like the, the Alnico Max, right? Like the, specifically the, the Pegasus. Um, there is something really cool about the like the sort of i guess al nico 4 magnet you know it seems to be because it's it's a lower output you know naturally like a definitely a lower output in the ceramic mags that are in this that it seems like a little bit more like subtle eq moves are a little bit more noticeable on a pickup that's less hot like that mm -hmm. um but you know i i guess i if I had the opportunity to work on a pickup with Derek, you know what I mean? It was going to be like, well, how would I, how would I improve most of the things that I've been able to try from Duncan now? And, um, you know, like the rail style pickups have always been, um, a favorite of mine. I mean, you know, because of that guy, guilty as charged, you know, yeah, like right. I was telling you earlier, I'll Dime play. Dimebucker? Yeah, I'll play. Well, no, the Lawrence's and then, Oh, that's you right, know, the 500s. Yeah, yeah, the, the L500 XLs. And then, you know, naturally, like, DiMarzio's made a bunch of cool rails, like yeah. the X2N and stuff. And um, Duncan also makes uh, a rail style pickup that used to be, it's called the El Diablo now, um, mm -hmm. but it was Tony Iommi's pickup for a okay. while, too. So those types of pickups have always seemed to have that cool low end roll off in the back so it just doesn't have a cloudy low end mm -hmm. you know and and you're able to make up for that you know like i i feel like on an amp right the presence curve seems to be somewhere around 5k and resonance you know seems to be somewhere around like 80 you know yeah. what i mean and like that'll get pretty shitty sounding on a pickup <laughs> if a pickup's not right you know what i mean so it, it makes it to where i can you can have a lot of that 80 in there and feel it, but it doesn't cloud. It still sounds like stringy in 3D, you know? You're getting is, some of that producer speak in here with Hertz and Kelly, you know what I mean? Like you, you're, 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 you're flexing a little I'm, bit. No, you're not no. just a guitar player. Well, you know I mean, I'm a hobbyist engineer at best, but I mean, I, I, I can record guitars and bass, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've, I've learned enough about that. I don't know shit about recording drums, but I can definitely get some guitars recorded and have them sound good. And this was the result of, I guess, like, spending a lot of time recording different Duncan pickups over mm. the years. Um, and they make my favorite shit and, you know, I'm, Good people. I'm, I'm very grateful to have a pickup with them. And I love this pickup. Still, still my favorite bridge pickup that there is and Nick pickup. As we move on to the next guitar, how many prototypes were there between you and Derek, uh, roughly? I think five. Okay. And, they, and they 3D printed the bobbins at first, you know what I mean? Because they, they didn't have anything like this uh -huh. in a seven string thing. Um, but yeah, they... Uh, it was it was five of them, okay. and it was the third one that ended up being the one. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's right this down the guy. Middle.